Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot, and today we are taking a look at the Lurch X 32-bit controller board. I actually showed you guys this board six months to a year ago where I just kind of took a look at the board itself, the drivers that it came with, and the LCD screen along with all the other things that came bundled with it. Well, since then I installed it in a printer, removed it from a printer, and figured I would show you guys some stuff regarding the interface, which in my opinion is really impressive. It's actually one of, if not the best, uh, interfaces that I've seen on a touch screen or just in general with most all 3D printers. It's really, really nice. And one thing that I really like about it is that you can completely adjust all of the parameters of the firmware from the LCD screen. So in today's video, I'm just gonna take you through literally everything that you can access from the LCD screen. And I think you guys will be pretty impressed with that. So hope you guys enjoy the video, stay tuned. As always, huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome to the new ones and to the ones that have been around for a while. Seriously, thank you guys so much for supporting my content. You guys rock. So since last time, the LurgeX has had some serious data dumped on their website. So there is tons of schematics as far as wiring goes and overall layout, which is super useful for someone looking to install it. It also has appeared in the wild, which I thought was kind of cool. I know that Tom over at Tom's 3DP did a review or assembly video on this Monoprice Pro Delta, which has a Lurge board inside. I'm not sure if it's the Lurge X or the Lurge K, but it has a Lurge nonetheless. And also this Two Trees Sapphire Core XY printer, which I saw earlier this year and I'm actually pretty interested in, uh, features a Lurge X board, which they boldly uh, state on their product page. So uh, kind of neat to see this actually out in the wild and not just as a uh, you know, modifiable upgrade to an existing machine or to a machine that you're planning on building. So Again, this video is primarily aimed at someone looking to upgrade their current 3D printer to a 32-bit board or someone that's assembling a 3D printer and is not sure which uh, board to go with. And I can't tell you, you know, again, necessarily whether this is the right or wrong decision for you. It really purely depends on budget and features and what you're looking for. But hopefully this video will kind of at least give you an idea whether this is something you may be interested in. Again, the firmware that runs on Lurge is closed source, so there is not really any third-party development going on as far as I know, and kind of it is what it is, and when the developer updates it, that's when it gets updates. But I certainly do think that it really is in a solid place right now for someone that needs to build a machine and is content with what it has available and offers offers you. So as far as the overall look, I think it looks awesome. It's incredibly bright. Overall, it's pretty damn responsive to finger touch, which I like. It's not, I've used some of the cheaper LCD screens where it feels like the buttons don't work very well while on this, uh, although on sometimes you might see me click twice to get it to go into a menu. It's really pretty damn good. And it's got, standard xyz which would be like a cartesian style it's got delta set uh, settings built into it it's got core xy settings built in you can adjust all of your settings like acceleration and jerk um, step value homing direction i mean literally all of the fine details as far as like you can invert stepper motors you can you know set the min and max of your 3d printer uh, choose whether it's got auto bed leveling or not it's just got a ton of features you can choose from a bunch of or quite a few at least different preset colors which is cool again doesn't do anything as far as the overall functionality but if you're me and you're building a cool machine like having the ability to control the uh, overall UI is also really neat the board also has an LED hookup slot to it which I think is pretty cool uh, anyone that has been watching my channel knows that I'm a sucker for LEDs. There's just really no way around it. I, I, you know, I love LEDs. I put them on literally everything. Well, you can hook up LEDs to this board, and under the LCD screen, there is an option for powering on and off those LEDs, which is really cool. I, I typically wire up a kind of mechanical switch, but being able to do it from the UI on the front of the machine is really neat for, again, when I want to turn it on if it's nighttime and I want to check out the print or just turn it off to not run the lights or if I just want it to be dark in the room. And so I, I think it's really awesome. You saw, I'm sure that you can set also the max and min temperatures as well as PID tuning. And this is the home screen UI, which I think looks again, really, really sleek. So 
This is, again, a closer look at the Lurge X board. I promise you guys, because I've gotten so many questions about it, I, it will be going back into a printer, and it'll be going back into a printer relatively soon here, so that way I can show you guys it actually running in operation, because now we've done a close-up of the actual board, and you guys have been able to see kind of what the overall UI looks like, and uh, I was actually pretty... Uh, overwhelmed by the amount of people that again were interested in this board I think a lot of people since 32-bit is becoming more of a prominent thing a lot of people are showing more and more interest and for the ability to get the board with the touchscreen LCD screen and the Trinamic drivers for under a hundred bucks is definitely a solid deal I know that there's some other boards out there that are also awesome options like the Duet Wi-Fi I like a lot as well as the like uh, Panucat Aztec but I do think that this is a pretty cool other option that is again available so if you guys want to find out more or purchase one for yourself of course links will be in the description down below where you can do so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe for more awesome videos and if you do want to support the channel patreon links will also be down below in the descriptions this has been Daniel from modbot looking forward so much to seeing you guys in my next video and i hope you guys have an awesome weekend peace guys